マイクロマップこの10倍10マップは新しいダイオーバスタビーチサイドとマンダラエフェクトダメだねプレイヤー丸書いてチキューこので50倍50マップですだからバスタが倒すまたマップと AI だ強いないサスケホンドスズキ太陽電話すべて届きませんだよさあどうするすみません Hello everyone, it's daytime. You can call me Buster and welcome to Micro Maps Season 2. You may be wondering what's so different about it to warrant calling this a new season. Hold tight and I'll explain. Until now, I've been playing all my Micro Maps on the original Nintendo DS version of the game. I accept subscriber submitted maps to play on on the series. But this was hard to do since the designer would need to take a screenshot, sometimes multiple, and send them to me. Then I would need to manually rebuild the map in my own game using the screenshot as a reference. But now there's an easier way to create and share maps, and that's by using the map editor in Tiny Wars. This allows you to design maps in a web browser, and it has a lot of nice features such as enforcing symmetry. The ability to place unique tiles like the empty missile silo and more. It also has a pretty robust system called War Events that lets you do all kinds of arbitrary things, from adding dialogue to creating ambush bombs or even setting up alternative win conditions. For an idea of what's possible using this system, check out this video where I show off a new game mode that I invented using it. Once you've finished your map, simply go into the menu. Advanced and choose Export to Clipboard. Then you can just paste the generated text directly into a text editor of your choice and save it. And on my end, once I receive the text file, I can simply copy it and then import it from the clipboard so I can access it. Tiny Wars does have an AI, so I'll be able to play on the map just fine. It doesn't play exactly the same as the DS version AI, but it's more than capable. That being said, neither AI provides much of a challenge, so I've decided that I will be giving myself a handicap. Whenever I play a map that is built to be symmetrical for PvP, I will skip my first turn. Of course, I still get money from owning properties, so the way I'll accomplish this is by beginning with both of my starting bases uncaptured. Then I place infantry on those bases, and I'm forced to spend a turn capturing them. Then, if I get any income from other properties, like in HQ, it's not a problem as long as I play in Tiny Wars' simulation mode. Using this, I can manually edit my available funds down to what I should normally have on turn 1. With the AI getting an extra turn, it should be able to build up its economy much more quickly than I can, which should hopefully give it enough of an advantage to put up a good fight. So, going forward, this series will be about two things. Trying out micro PvP maps versus the AI, and trying out your submitted micro challenge maps. I have a lot of experience now playing and designing maps for PvP, so I'll be glad to critique your maps from that perspective as well, assuming that's what it was designed for. To send me your map, simply find me on Discord, link in the description, and send me a DM, or if you're not on Discord, send your map via email to busterbeachside at gmail.com. This can either be a text file like I showed earlier, or you can send me a screenshot of your maps just like you did before, and I can import it into the DS game. Notably, Calder has been nerfed in Tiny Wars, and the AI is also different as I mentioned, so make sure to let me know if you'd like me to play your map on cartridge instead of on Tiny Wars. Shortly after this video goes live, I'll be posting the first episode of Season 2 playing on Micro Vortex under my new rule set. Click on the right video to see that, or you could try the left video to see whatever YouTube has decided you would probably like to watch next. And you could also, you know, subscribe and like and click the bell to get notified of new videos and stuff. Okay, bye.